Hi, I'm Andy. I'm here today with Piers, and we're going to tell you about one of the most anticipated product launches for many years, the Wizicom MTP60 Ultra Wide Band Transmitter. Well, it's certainly got the looks. Really nice rounded corners, nice compact shape. What do you think? Yeah, I love it, to be honest. I think Talent will love it as well, because as you say, it's got the rounded corners. In terms of size, it's uh, pretty much the same volume as an MTP40, um, slightly thinner. Yeah, yeah, and I see the screen has popped out front. Yeah, that's uh, the screen is really superb, actually. It's a, a very clear OLED uh, display, and it's got Gorilla Glass on it, which is basically the same glass as you'll find on, on kind of high-end mobile phones. And it's got uh, also four buttons on the front for quick access to various menu functions like gain, uh, frequency, um, and you can lock it and you can mute it. So you, in practice, you'd probably very rarely need to actually go into the menu itself. Okay, certainly a great looking product then. But now let's have a look under the hood. The MTP60 is feature packed. It's got lots of things happening there that we're going to talk, talk about and take you through. Um, tuning range. Wizicom very famous for wide tuning range. I understand this takes it to a different level though. Uh, yeah, you can say that again. Um, you get the, the same UHF bands uh, you used to get on the old uh, transmitter, which was 470 to 663 and 510 to 698. But then it gets really exciting. You also get a second band, uh, which for the UK units is uh, DME bands. Uh, so that gives you uh, another 115 megahertz of available uh, tuning range. Well, that seems to be plenty enough for anybody, I think. And uh, I understand that DME frequencies, they're, they're easily licensable now in the same way as the yeah, UHF. Absolutely. DME, at the moment, it's only licensable, licensable in the UK. But because it's a global aeronautical band, I'm sure other countries will uh, follow on in the future. Um, so this extra 115 megahertz, of, uh, it's like virgin spectrum, really, because there's very little on it. The, the noise floor is very, very low. Um, if you're in a studio, for instance, with uh, screens and uh, monitors creating a lot of noise, by the time you get up above 960 megahertz it's really clean as a whistle and uh, yeah as I say it's really easy to license now online uh, with Ofcom just the same way as you would uh, any other UHF frequency. Okay so what's next? Well here's a feature that's been uh, asked for for a very very long time remote control uh, the MTP60 now has Bluetooth remote control and it has a very high gain antenna on the top here underneath this plastic power bulge. Well, and power being the appropriate word, um, this isn't normal Bluetooth. It certainly isn't, no. This is a Bluetooth 5 Class 1 device, which means it's 100 milliwatts of power, which is much higher than most other uh, products that have Bluetooth, which are just a few milliwatts. Indeed, indeed. And of course, there's going to be an app to be able to control uh, via Bluetooth with your mobile devices. Uh, and the MRK16 as well will be able to be used as a bridge, as a Bluetooth bridge, using the Wizicon Manager. Exactly, yes, because the MRK16 is also a Class 1 device, so you really would get the ultimate uh, range with that. Fabulous, really good feature. OK, so let's talk about powering the MTP60. Battery life, clearly something that's very important. Well, indeed, you've got uh, uh, several options for powering. As you see, it's got a slot for uh, a pair of AA batteries. These can be uh, alkalines, nickel metal hydride, or lithium cells. Uh, but also, if you remove the batteries, you can fit a lithium battery pack in, uh, which is the same as using the MPR50, and that'll give you about 10 hours. And you'll get about eight hours with alkalines running at 50 milliwatts. Uh, in addition to that, there's going to be a, a battery eliminator which will clip onto the bottom um, if you're using it in a bag, for instance, to, to power it from 12 volts. Yeah, and I understand there's also um, a multi-way battery charger coming along. Yeah, that should be along, along soon, yes. Fabulous. Good feature. OK, so let's now answer the question that everybody's been shouting at the screen since this film started. Um, does the MTP60 have a recorder? Yes, it does. I'm very pleased to say it now has a recorder built in onto a, a, a micro SD card and it also records time code. And in the UK and Europe, it will actually record and transmit at the same time. Yeah, that's fabulous. And I know that recording on a transmitter has become such an important part of workflow now. Um, does it affect battery life? Oh, no. The, the, the power used by the recorder is negligible, so no significant effect on, on battery life whatsoever. Cool. Great feature. So 
So that's covered the main points. Anything else we should be looking at? There's quite a few things actually, yes. Um, well, let's talk about the transmitter power. Um, as previously, you can get up to 100 milliwatts of RF power out, which is uh, very useful if you need the extra range, obviously where it's licensable. Um, also, it has the linear technology built in, which means you can run frequencies without a, uh, using an intermod plan, um, and you can effectively stripe frequencies in narrow band mode every 200 kilohertz, uh, or 400 kilohertz in, in wide band mode. Um, and also, because it has uh, an FPGA, uh, compander in there. Um, it, the the low-pass filter also is automatically selected for narrowband at 17 kilohertz and you get all the way up to 20 kilohertz now in uh, in wideband mode. And, and actually another benefit of the FPGA is that it now uses the ENS compander mm -hmm. which uh, some people might be familiar with from the IEMs. It's a, a very very high quality compander, much much better quality than the old one. So a real good sound improvement as yeah, well. Yeah, superb sound on that ENS. Yeah, I've heard that. And, um, and Wizicom are very famous for updating once the product has been launched, some new firmware and that. Do you, do you know of any features that are coming along that perhaps we don't yes. know the full details on yet? Well, well actually, the um, transmitter has a uh, built-in accelerometer, an XYZ accelerometer and compass, right. um, which combined with some special Bluetooth software means that you can actually track the exact location of the transmitter. So, for instance, you could have it so that the transmitter turns on or off as you come on stage or leave stage, change frequencies, um, you know, basically, uh, in fact, another thing you could do, you could e e put a map up on the screen um, and show for, for perhaps a sporting event, uh, broadcasters might like to show the exact location of uh, the wearer of the device. All of this is possible with the, uh, the Bluetooth tracking. Oh yeah, pretty useful if one goes missing as well, I guess. <laughs> yes. <laughs>So there we go, a fairly brief overview of this fantastic new product, the MTP60 from Wizicom. Let's think about what we've covered, the, uh, the wideband now with DME, the uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth 5, massively long range Bluetooth, and of course the recording function, that's uh, a function a lot of people have been waiting for, recording TX at the same time, fabulous. So we're going to go through some other films uh, fairly shortly, uh, taking you through the menu, and of course the inevitable walk test. If you've got any questions in the meantime, pick up the phone, send us an email or, or drop us a comment on this, on this film and we'll get back to you as soon as we can on it. Uh, in the meantime, uh, thanks again for watching. Um, so cheerio from myself and Piers and um, be proud of your sound. <laughs>